My name is Tatiana Bosevich, I'm a professional makeup artist, and you are on the Tolipika Makeup Channel. Friends, today we're doing this kind of look, which is perfect for people with cool skin undertone. My makeup religion says that the biggest mistake in clients' makeup is the wrong choice of color scheme. If you are a person of cool hair color and white fair skin, this is a great makeup option for you. And the colors that I'm using today are the following. Pearl white, dusty pink, and by the way, dusty pink is my favorite color. You know, in makeup world they say, if you don't know what color to blend in, use dusty pink. Next will be cool pink, cool dusty beige and dark grey. All the links to the products you will find in the description box down below. But of course, guys, you are welcome to use your favorite products. The main thing here is just to follow the idea and the color scheme I have chosen for this look. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, push the thumb up and the real bell button. Your support means so much to me. So, let's not waste the time and get into it. A little bit about getting my skin prepared for this makeup. My skin is thin and you can even see my veins through it and it tends to be dry. So I use a toner which perfectly moisturizes my skin and gives a really nice glow. Next I'm going to use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum as a moisturizer and then I so to say cover it with the barrier cream. To be honest, any foundation will go well on such well prepared skin, but today my choice is the foundation from Dior. I brighten the central part of my face and the space under my eyebrows with a concealer. Cream Sculptor And that's the end of the correction with liquid products And I'm turning to dry one Make sure that concealer doesn't crease under the eyes and powder the central area with matte setting powder. I do this with a special fluffy surface sponge, like so, we are going to get the most modifying baking effect. The rest of the face are powdered with a brush. I do recommend you to powder the face before using dry sculptor or bronzer or blush because in that case you will not have any possibility to put a spot or a rough line on your face. Do not forget to powder the eyebrows so that the eyebrow pencil can be easily applied. Sculpture on the face and the face correction is finished. I do love to use liquid colored eyeshadows as a primer for dry eyeshadows, but of course you can use a standard eyeshadow primer. Apply the dark color to the outer corner of the eye and to the crease of the eyelid with a flat brush. And then immediately blend it out with a round synthetic brush. It's important guys here to blend this particular liquid product very quickly because it is very resistant and it dries out really quickly. So make sure you have the appropriate brushes ready in advance. Apply the light color on the central part of the eyelid. Next step is application of dry products. On the center of the eyelid I apply the favorite color, dusty pink and blend it in down into a crease. I really like to apply all the products with the flat brushes, in this case they don't crumble, and blend the colors with the round brushes for delicate results. The same color on the lower eyelid, pearl white to the inner corner, and a little to the center of the lower eyelid to create this so-called glare.
dusty beige to the outer corner of the eye with the help of the small round brush. And blend the borders out. I put some sparkles of a cool pink color on my finger and stick them on the center of the upper eyelid and then on the center of the lower eyelid. Join the lash line with the ash colored pencil and making a delicate wing. I also underline the bottle lash line a little Eyebrow time. As I've mentioned in my previous video, my eyebrows are disastrously different. So one is always drawn with an exaggeration. In this case, it's a really good idea to duplicate the pencil with eyebrow shadows so no one will guess that the eyebrows are so different. As a highlighter, I apply the already familiar pearl white. I apply mascara a little and glue the individual lashes. Regular 12 mm length lashes on the whole eye and thicker 12 mm lashes to strengthen the lash line in the corner. Look how beautiful it is already, but we still need to put mascara on them. Ultra black mascara and moving on to the lips. A pencil in a cool shade and the lipstick with a dusty pink color. I like to emphasize the volume in lip makeup, so I will add lighter shade to the center of my lips. For the blush, I mix known already pearl white with dusty pink. And here it is, friends! Don't forget to push the thumb up button! And I will be very glad if you will write in the comments what event you can do this kind of makeup for. Thanks for watching and see you in my next one!